Hi, welcome to the Microscopy 101 channel and today uh, we're going to be talking about Zen Core and specifically scaling or calibration and this is going to apply to the free version so it's the Zeiss Zen Core program and how to calibrate your microscope. Now there's a lot of questions come up about calibrations and scalings and what we're really doing is we're telling the software how big the picture is. So we need to look at the individual um, pixels that make up the image and we need to assign them a width. And uh, once we've done that, we're able to calculate really uh, how big things are. We're able to make measurements. So we do get a lot of questions about calibration. So I'm going to show you here the uh, the way it's done with the free version, that is if you don't have a dongle or a license. The licensed version of Zen Core uh, is different, you get different um, menu capabilities. But let's have a look at the, uh, the image. So here's a typical image with uh, a graticule uh, Zen Core. So let me just explain what we've got going on here. So we've got a stage micrometer. This is a device which has got a known scale. This one is one millimeter cut up into uh, 10 micron divisions. So these are available from, uh, from Zeiss, from other companies, and they're also available with some sort of traceability. So they might come from NPL or NIST, somebody like that. So let's pop it back on the microscope and have a look at the image. Now I've got the microscope set to a 10 times objective. And you'll notice over here that I've got a workbench open, which is the 2D acquisition workbench. And this gives me the manual microscope configuration menu. I'm assuming that you've have some familiarity with Zen and this concept of workbenches. So we've got some workbenches going on here and I'm just going to add another tool which is quite useful to show me what's going on called active scaling. So that comes up underneath here. And you can see uh, there's, a, there's a number here and it's calculated a number which is a theoretic scaling. So it's used the information here to calculate, to calculate what is a theoretical value. Now, when you get this out of the box, so to speak, you need to define this data set, this list of objectives. And this is going to match what you're using on your microscope. And uh, it'll come with lots of choices. And you just basically delete the ones that you don't need until it matches your microscope configuration. Zoom. This is here for people who are using stereos. In a compound microscope, we're going to use it with a zoom of one. And we're just going to use that and nothing else. And the C-mount adapter needs to be defined as well. In this case, it's a 0.5. Camera, you can't change that. That's part of the configuration of the, uh, of the software. So you can see here that we've got a calculated value of 0.44 microns per pixel, or thereabouts sort of 0.5 microns. So what that says is that each pixel is half a micron wide. And by doing that, we can work out the size of the picture. Now, theoretical calibrations are uh, theoretical, so they are not measured. So they are prone to error, and they're prone to uh, probably between sort of 1% and 5% error. Many customers would find that okay just to get a, me a rough measurement. But if you want a traceable measurement or a calibration, then we need to actually measure this scale and work out how big the pixels are. So I'm going to need to add another workbench. So the first thing I'm going to do here is set the objective to 10 and snap the picture. That gives me a picture 
which I can then use for calibration. You can see how here it pops on a scale. And actually, if I measure this, move this scale bar up, we're already pretty accurate with the theoretical. But we want to improve this to be measured. So I'm going to add a workbench. And that workbench is under scaling and it's called create measurement, create measured scale. Now, as we come into this, this immediately, it says, uh, please draw a reference line. So I'm going to draw a line on the scale on the captured image, and I'm going to make that as big as I can for reasons of accuracy. Obviously, it's sort of vertical um, scale as well, but we're not going to be using that since we're only scaling in the X direction because we're dealing here with square pixels. So we don't need to worry about the, the Y direction at this point. And I need now, having drawn the line, to put in the length of the line, which I know is one millimeter or a thousand microns. And you can see here, we get a different number now. We get 0.429. Now, the key to this is to save the name as the same name as the objective that we're using. And uh, we're using a 10x objective. So that's the name I'm going to put in there. Then I can save the scaling. Now, it never sort of tells you that it's done it, but once you click on Save Scaling, it will have saved that and uh, have faith. And as long as you've used the name 10x, when we go back to the image now, we can see that we have a different number, slightly different number, very slightly different number, but it says measured. So we've created a measured scale rather than a theoretical scale for the 10 times objective. And sort of confirm that by looking at a different objective and you see here it says theoretic and here for 10 it's measured so now we can also draw some conclusions about the minimum uh, pixel width and how many pixels we need to get answers and obviously we can't measure uh, less than half a micron because our pixels are half a micron thick but we do have a calibration for the 10. To go through the other objectives, then I'd go back to the live image. I'd go to 20, just to get a, a nice image in focus. Remember to change over here to 20, snap the image, and then repeat that process. And as you see, when you snap, you always get this scale bar so you can see that the theoretical is pretty accurate anyway, but we've created a measured scale. So that's how we get a, a measured scale using a stage micrometer. Now, one thing that can happen is if I've got a live image, let's say I have this image here, which is live, and I forget to change this, and I have it on a 10, but I'm actually using a 20 image, when I snap this, I've basically created a, an issue because I've used uh, the wrong scale to collect the image. Now in Zen, that's not a problem really because I can go back to the uh, workbench and I can add a workbench called assign a measured scale to an image. So this is letting me change the scale when I've collected the picture. So here uh, I would look for the, the appropriate scaling, click onto that and assign. And then that would correct if I had the wrong scaling. OK, so to recap, what we would do uh, to create a scale is we edit this list, the manual microscope configuration. Out of the box, there'll be lots of options in the drop down. We just select the objectives we're using. Zoom on one, CMAT adapter on 0.5. We snap the image. We then draw a line to the line length uh, measured from the stage micrometer. 
And the trick, as you remember, is to call it the same name as what we're using here, so 10x. So I hope that was uh, useful. Um, we will do another a little video on how to set the scalings if you have a license uh, using some different menus. But um, any questions, let us know. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, if you have any more, need any more information, um, take a look on the website.